Okay, here we go. Brass frame, so I'm assuming, I guess, Confederate, Confederate style. 44 caliber cap and ball. Now, I got the grease in there because even though it was the, the 454 balls, I didn't get no lead when I was pushing it in. So I put grease in there anyhow. And the reason everybody, you only ever load five, I loaded six and put it in here, but you still can't carry it like that because it could slide and hit. Uh, Remington's with the full frame has a little notch here. You can do that. These Colt styles, you cannot. But here we go. Sometimes they don't go off. This is this, this was awesome technology back in the day when they made it. Now everybody just put bullets in and shoot it. But no, you have to load it, put a cap in. Here we go. Let's shoot it. And watch, when you click it off, you ever notice how everybody all in the cowboy movies, they go like that? Oh no! I just had a cap fall off. All right. I guess I shouldn't tip it up. So I'm only shooting five. Oh, another cap fell off. Well, I guess I gotta get new nipples. Because, uh, I got caps off and a loaded gun. That was only, what, three shots? There's one there. No, that was only two shots. No, that was three, because I still got three. Well,. I did bring the caps out, but I'm not going to let you guys watch all that. I need to replace the... And you, got, you guys, look, there was a lot of problems with this. And I did watch some videos. The guy said there's new tips that has holes in it that will keep this from happening. I might even just have the wrong caps. But see how it goes in there like that? Then that will actually jam up your action. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't shave. Just tucked it in. It's cold. Bye.